Okay guys, so continuing on with our tutorials for the My Happy Valentine Altered Embellishment Case Handmade Card and Treat Swap. Um, I think in today's video I will do, I will talk about the handmade card, the treat, and possibly filling this up with like the store-bought items. And then I'll probably do a separate video for the other parts because they take a little bit longer to write the handmade things and then, you know, finishing up and all that kind of stuff. So the video might be quick just because... There's not a lot um, of hand making as far as what I'm showing you because I already have my cards made, right, from different examples I've made of Valentine cards. But um, I just want to talk again about the basic guidelines and rules and things like that too. So um, please, again, watch the videos completely front to back and um, try to really stick to the... Um, guidelines right like I said I'm not going to be swapping people out anymore if they broke rules I usually try to get around that and I'm like okay well I feel bad I'm still gonna do it but you know what it's come to like where I just I can't do that um, I don't think the rules are that hard and um, to stick to and to understand so uh, let's just do that okay <laughs> so uh, again with the case itself it has to be the case from uh, the Dollar Tree which I showed you having said that not everything in here has to come from the Dollar Tree and I prefer if it didn't guys let's be very generous um, you know if you don't have a lot of Valentine things then you're gonna have to buy some I know some things times people just put things in there just to put things in there it might be like orange or blue or green or purple or whatever color or whatever style it doesn't matter they just put it in there and that's not what this is about it's supposed to be super curated if you don't have these items you got to go out and pick them up you know or order them online or whatever it is you do but you need to pick something up right um, very Valentine's super Valentine's it needs to be screaming Valentine's just like I said with the birthday celebrations it needs to be screaming birthday celebration like what's typically you know cakes and uh, treats and you know balloons and gifts and all that kind of stuff that you would associate with birthdays or whatever it is right um, I'm not saying everyone has to look the same obviously what I'm saying is very much birthday right so this is very much Valentine's you know um, and some people like to go black and red with Valentine's whatever it is but it's a very Valentine-y right um, so on your case three or more embellishment items of course you see there's several here so that's all I'm saying so I have the lace I have like this different sticker I have of doily I have this guy on top I have the little it's a sticker but it's like very thick piece here I have a ruffle that's been um, uh, stitched you know obviously that's more than three things so we need that three or more three is the basic right Again, I said if you want to decorate the inside of it, that's up to you. Sometimes decorating the inside, it keeps this from closing well, right? It doesn't let this nestle in as well, but it's still closed because it has the little latches. It's just things might move around, right? So that's up to you if you want to decorate it. Some people decorate it on the inside. On the other side, though, you know, so when you open it, you still see something pretty, even though it's on the back of this, basically, the base paper. So that's another idea. Um, lots of fun things we can do. Just don't make it too, too thick because, again, we got to put this into a flat rate um, priority mail padded envelope and I'll be providing those whenever I send back out whatever you send yours in like if you included something to make it more sturdy I'll try to include that on the swap out because I would like them to get to you as safely as they got here so um, if you're using please try to send in a padded envelope um, but this one is not as um, what's the word um, necessary I guess because it's a hard case but like the um, loaded pockets um, definitely just throwing it into a paper or plastic envelope that has no padding um, is not great so um, things get squished especially with those so with this one you know whatever you want to send it in as long as it's safe is great uh, if they do arrive crushed or something in it you know exploded or these kinds of things I'm gonna send it back without swapping also so just make sure you're packaging your items really well um, again four handmade items here on top and then the bottom eight need to be store-bought or purchased types of things when I say bottom eight obviously it means like if you do the, use the divider and that makes it nine okay and then you use the divider and makes it ten I don't care these bottom eight pieces have to have eight different things at least right uh, types of things in it the top four um, do not alter these in any way if you're including charms don't like bead wrap them and all those kind of things nothing altered down here it's just what you bought and you popped it in there right um, Again, not painted, not decorated. If it's like a paper clip, it's just the paper clip, you know. Obviously, you want to do more than that, but um, you can do an ultra paper clip up here, right? Put them up here. So, okay. And again, it's not just a Dollar Tree exchange. Please, please, please pick up what you need. Um, 
be super generous and if that's difficult to do then you know hold off for another swap guys um okay Handmade card. So as you can see, I already have one here and it is lovely. And it's the one I used for the Spellbinders um, club kit from, I think, last month. So if you have that, you should have it now already. <laughs> um, maybe you want to use it too. So background piece that's embossed. I have this background like die cut. I have this gold die cut. It's, you know, pearls on every little area. I have a little heart with the stones and those are glass stones from uh, Spellbinders. And then the Forever Mind. So I said three or more embellishments. That's three or more, uh, simply, easily. Um, and it's a little bit popped up, right? I'm gonna include an envelope. I'm going to leave it blank. And I did specify that in the guidelines just because people do ask about that. That way the person can use it if they would like. If you wanna include some of your info, then just include like a little business card size piece of paper or something in here um, that has your info. Or even on the inside, sometimes people put like a little post-it in here with their info and that's fine because you can remove it right so we have that and then on the back I have these little tags I create with my label maker and it just says handmade by VNA creates and this one's a really cute one because it's like a little kitty with a little strawberry <laughs> and that's good for that I'm going to pop it into my sleeve sorry and actually the other way <laughs> And that's just because I want to protect it, of course. Um, if you don't, you know, have these sleeves, don't worry about it. I will link them in the description box. They're generally five by seven cards, so it works for you know A4, five by seven, A2, anything that'll fit in the five by seven area. But there's that, ready to go. So I have my handmade card, and usually what I do with them, I put them underneath like this or like this, and then I go into the package. So that way, that helps protect it too. Okay, handmade card again. Leave it blank. Handmade, not store-bought card, you know, handmade with at least three or more embellishment items um, or things, you know what I'm saying, other than your base layer of paper. So that's what I mean by that. Um, all right, gift. So last year when I did this, I designed on Cricut a cute little like um, post office box kind of thing, like uh, the kind that you drop off mail, like those big, huge blue boxes, but it was black and red or whatever colors you want to use, right? Pink. Um, I'll link that cut file just because it's really cute. And if you want to use it, if you have Cricut, you know, go for it. Um, this year I was like, well, I'll just show you something simpler. It's whatever you guys want that fits, okay? So don't go too crazy on the treat part. Um, we want it to fit nicely in, um, you know, with our swap and everything. So I have some cute little low cut socks. They're, you know, Valentine socks. So different styles. They don't have to be exactly the same. I do have some little um, bags from the Dollar Tree. Uh, let's get this guy open. And this time I'm going to put them in here. And you know what's funny is that the whole swap will literally fit in one of these bags a lot of times. You can get this whole case in here and then plus your treat or whatever. However you want to package it, that's fine. Try to package it too tightly though because I have to open it and sometimes it gets problematic when there's just like <laughs> a lot of packaging, um, especially because I got to package it back up, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to include a pair of socks and I can leave them nice and flat like this or I can fold them over, whatever makes it so that it fits nicely and not too bulky, right? And to be honest, I'll probably end up with a little treat, but I always like to buy the treats later <laughs> because I don't want to sit here with a candy treat that's just going to be sitting instead of buying a fresh whatever it is that I'm going to include, right? Um, having said that, if you're including like Tootsie Rolls or Lollipops, anything that can open real easily, be twisted to be open, do not do that. <laughs> Please, uh, if you're going to do that, it has to be like the whole bag, right? Like in the actual factory sealed bag, okay? So anything that's very easily opened or that... So anything that's not actually like sealed sealed, please don't send in, okay? Um, you know, again, if it's like little chocolates that, you know, the, they have like a little like foil wrapper, they need to still be in their bag, right? Factory sealed. So um, I'm gonna include this stamp set. I had picked up a few of these um, earlier in the year to give away in my swaps as part of the gifts. Look, it's a limited edition from me to you with love, for you, handcrafted, original, 100% handmade. I thought these were so cute, so I grabbed a few of them there from Michaels. And again, I can leave it flat like this if that works better. And then again, probably a little candy or chocolate treat. And then I will just close that up, right? So for right now, I'll just leave it kind of open because I still have, but again, you see, even though it's larger, it's pretty flat and they can go right on top and this can all go into one of my plastic sleeves that I like to put my stuff in, right? So um, like I said, the whole box can go in here probably with a treat, but uh, package it however you like, but that's gonna be my gift. So again, the gift can be an edible treat. It can be something you created. I know I had ladies that made handmade, like gorgeous, like hearts and like ornament type things and 
Um, I mean, there's just the sky's the limit on that one. So it's whatever you want that fits nicely in here, right? Goodness, so, this morning um, it's really bad. So just uh, have fun with it and just don't go too wild, right? We want it to be nice and flat that still fits in here. So now I've done my gift and that's very simple. I have my card and I have my decorated case and we're going to start filling it up. I do want to say that if you also want to put something on your case, like I would take also my handmade by, usually with this kind of thing I like to say curated by because, you know, hopefully it's that you chose things that are just lovely and I just put it like on the side. So I still have to pull away all these <laughs> little um, stickiness. So there's that, all right? So the person has a little bit of my info there. Um, all right, so we're gonna start filling this up. So I do have some things that are like stickers. Let me see if I can. And you might wanna give us some thought of how you wanna put things in here. So obviously we wanna give some thought to that. Um, let's see, where I put, okay. I know I have these guys. Um, I just did a Hobby Lobby haul and you'll see I picked up most of my stuff from Hobby Lobby. Um, obviously all these stores have great stuff. Um, like I said, I just don't want it to be a Dollar Tree exchange because that's not what we're doing here. So let's say I like that one. I'm just gonna curate some of these guys. See how many actually fit in here? Oh, that's cute, but I like the little hearts. Um, oh, okay, good. So I can do a few more. I just want to see about how many would fit, and that's what I want to be generous. And in the guidelines, that's what I say. I say, fill the spaces as appropriate. Like, I wouldn't say if you have half pearls that you need to fill up this whole thing with half pearls, right? That would be a ridiculous amount of half pearls. Um, so just do what is a good amount, generous amount. It doesn't have to go, you know, you don't have to go wild um, or break the bank, right? Because I know half pearls can be however much, and then you're just filling it up. Like, it's kind of crazy, right? Especially if there's like, the Tim Holtz ones or whatever. Um, so just fill it up nicely. If you want to use little glass vials to hold smaller things, you can definitely do that. They fit in here pretty well. It depends on the ones, obviously, that you find. Like, uh, I know the Dollar Tree has some that will work. Uh, I have these little guys. I just don't know how they'll fit. Oh, there's six of these. How many say? Yeah, six. So let's see if I can mix and match them. They do have a lot of thickness to them. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, let's see here. So obviously they can get squished because they're felt, but I don't want to squish them too much either. So if they all go this way, that'll probably be better. And again, you know, maybe these guys aren't going to work for me. Let me see. Uh, oh yeah, maybe they're more that way. Again, I don't want them to get super damaged just because they're in here. So let's say only two fit there, but maybe what I'll do is pair them up with some other kind of sticker, right? So I'm not just putting two little things in there. Um, okay, let's put these to the side. I'm just going to fill up the one for now. Uh, I mean, I have a ton of stuff, honestly. This is gonna... <laughs> let's see here. We have some flowers. These little mini roses. I thought they were really pretty. Little mulberry flowers. And maybe a set of each. So if I have these little pink ones and these little red ones, try to get them in there together without squishing each other too badly. There we go. Okay. And I'll do the same thing for the other one. Again, this part goes pretty quickly because obviously it's star bot, you're not doing too much. I am going to take a moment to cut these guys down. So. I do want to make mention that when I design stuff like on the Cricut to go in here, these squares, I think they're about an inch and a half. Yeah, they're just over an inch and a half. I mean, I would say an inch and a half, and then they're like maybe an inch deep, so just keep that in mind. So like when I go to cut these right now, um, an inch and a half, it's too big. You know what I'm saying? If I cut here, that's too wide. You can cut them in strips and then kind of roll them up. Uh, whatever works for you to make these fit, so I'm just going to do... This one moved over. Let's put that back where he belongs. There. Oh, that one moved over too. <laughs> Oopsie. You know, we're not going to use that side. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll cut them down like this. And probably in sets of maybe three. Does that work? Ah, uh, see, I probably messed that up. I should have done sets of four. 
but that's okay. So I'm going to cut these guys down and get them in there, okay? And same thing with some other stickers that I have. I'll be back. Um, so I cut down some little stickers. Actually, I shouldn't have come back yet. <laughs> I have some other stickers I want to cut down. But I got these at Hobby Lobby, and that would probably fit in here really well. So there's a few more things than just two sad little gnomes. <laughs> Let's put those guys in there. All right. Um... Oh, that's interesting. So I have these guys. I want to share them because they remind me of like love bugs or something, right? Those cute little guys. Um, I can put a good amount like here with that little divider. Again, like I said, appropriately full. I mean, it doesn't have to be like, obviously that's a ton of them. Um, and maybe with them, some of these guys, I don't really want to fill up a whole tub of just these, right? So I think it'll be fun. It's just it's too much, right, is what I'm trying to say. Not because I don't want to share that much. It's just it's, it's too much. I mean, it's a lot even putting what's in here in here. So I think that'll be a good share spot for these guys. Okay. And then, uh, let's see here. Oh, so I had these stickers. Like, little wood stickers. And these, I have so many things I want to share. Like, these are so pretty, too. Um, oh. I wonder if I should put some of these guys in here. Because I have quite a few things I still want to <laughs> get to. Um, let's see. How many are these? Oh, see. Mm -hmm. These will be interesting to cut down. Again, you can cut things in strips. Let me see how the strip would be. I'll roll them in there like that, and maybe a couple of them. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna trim these guys down. Guys, this is almost already filled up, and I still have more ideas and more things I would love to include. So let's see how this will work for us. Do, do, do. Okay, so I grabbed some uh, cute little ribbon here, and I do also have these little pearl things, not pearls, but like half rhinestones. And like I had said, Oh, that might work. Ooh, okay. Um, let me open these guys up. What I'm going to do is cut some ribbon, uh, both of these guys at the same time, and, you know, just be generous with it. At least a couple feet, I would say, of each one. That way people can actually make a bow or do something with it, right? Um, but what I like to do is kind of hold on to them together and wrap them around my fingers or whatever it is. So some people put them separate. I'll just keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Maybe that's about a yard, I would say. And I'll just hold them like this and kind of wrap them around two fingers. That's about what fits in this little area. So I'm gonna keep wrapping, wrapping, wrapping this around my fingers and I'll be right back. So I actually took out my two fingers because it was a little bit too big this time. It got, cause I did a whole yard. I guess usually I probably do a couple feet. So it was just too big to fit in there. So let's just get that guy in there. And I'm having that divider there to help me out. Okay. I'll place it a little bit cuter, a little nicer later. <laughs> um, so there's that. And then I have these little guys. And like I said, I just want to do a mix of these. So I'm just going to pop some of these out Oof, of their packaging, which is kind of a nightmare. <laughs> this is not the best packaging there, but it's just some half pearl, half pearls, half uh, stones, I guess, or whatever you want to call them, that I recently picked up at Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to just pop them in this spot, like right in here, okay? So I'm going to do that with these gold ones, the pink ones, and the red ones that I have, and I'll be right back. So, again, uh, red, pink, and gold, like rhinestone halves. And it's not completely full, but that is a ton of each of those things. So, again, like I said, just whatever's appropriate for what you're putting in, you know? Um, I have these cute little beads I want to share. So this will be, I guess, my little bead spot. <laughs> I'm just going to cut that Ooh, and let those fall in there and just be careful with them because they're going to, oh my gosh, you guys, when I went to Hobby Lobby, I had chosen um, <laughs> a set of beads and apparently it was ripped or something. So as I'm walking out here and I was like, <gasps> it was a strip of beads that just like, I don't know, I just placed them on the cart, you know, and they just, I guess they must have already had something wrong. So I go and find somebody that works there. I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll take it. It's okay. Oh my gosh. How embarrassing. But it's like, I didn't do it. <laughs> Let's tell you. Anyway, so we have some of these little guys. So funny. 
just that sound you know it's like oh no <laughs> so a few of those because again I have some other ones that I picked up at Michael's if you guys recall that I picked up for this Valentine's um, box so I will grab those I don't know where they are at the moment <laughs> and then uh, maybe a few of these gumball ones because again these guys are big so they take up a lot of the space if you use these guys I mean I'd surprise if you get you know more than four by themselves so let me kind of look at these guys of course the red and white dot because that's adorable um I like to put some that are just like different maybe this guy oh maybe a pink one Okay, let me open the pink ones. I'll be right back. So yeah, now I have some other really pretty beads, so I'll include those. So this is going to look like half full, but it's because I have other things I have planned to go in there. Um, like I said, I always like putting something pretty pretty. Maybe like a pearl, because that matches. And then the other ones that I picked up at Michael's earlier that I will bring out. So, that is it, guys. So... Which is tough, because to be honest, I have a ton more things I want to put in here. Um, I might get some of these heart stickers in here, maybe put them in like this spot, because I can fit them. Actually, they probably fit here better. But again, be generous, appropriately full, curated. When I look in here, I mean, what are you looking at? You're seeing all red, pink, you know, maybe some accents of gold or whatever, right? So it's just very curated you guys please don't just throw in anything because you have it because I've seen that in the past and it's just really a bummer I mean another thing I wanted to share and I just saw are some of these little pom-poms because they're so cute <laughs> but again not too many things that are just bulky to be bulky because this is supposed to be geared towards paper crafters so everything I have in here is generally things we would use in paper craft um, the only things that I kind of allow that are different are like the charms um, I probably have some heart charms too that I can throw in here some enamel charms I know I do so there's a lot of things that are gonna go in this uh, where everything else isn't hectic right you don't want to make it too hectic either because as I'm going through it and showing it to people it's like okay we have you know flowers oh there's also this here and there's also this here like you know this kind of makes sense right you know I have these stickers obviously I finished them off but it's not hectic right that's kind of what we want something chill it's not just throw a bunch of stuff from smorgasbord you know really curate it guys um, you know take some time with that um, I like I have these little guys and they're super cute so I'll probably take a few out of them out and I'll pop them in here because that makes the most sense for them to be over here um, but again Things that are paper craft, no party favors, please, you guys, I say that, and every time somebody includes some kind of party favor, okay, so no slime, no candy, no jewelry, like a necklace over here, you know, that could be your gift item, but not in here, okay, so no candies in here, no, uh, I, I don't even know what, oh, I think I'll probably have another question, if you make a glitter mix, can you put it here, if you make a glitter or a shaker mix, it needs to go up here, that's your handmade thing, you put that together, you curated that in that way, it should go up here, down here are just things that are purchased that, you know, you see I didn't doctor these up in any way, it's just what it is, right, so, um, uh, shaker mix is definitely something that needs to pop up here, okay, um, yeah, so I guess in the next video, I'll probably be using my Cricut a lot, like I said, to create some things. And then, oh my gosh, I have too many ideas. I was like, oh, I'll make a little banner. That'd be really cute, like a little banner that says, like, love or something. It could be one of these things. But I've already filled up my Cricut with other things, and now I'm like, oh, what about my banner? <laughs> so, like, I know, there's a lot of choices to make. Um... You know, just go with what's cutest, what works for you. Honestly, this has worked up so fast because I guess I'm used to the loaded pockets where everything's pretty much handmade, right? The thing, the th you know, the pocket itself, the decorations, the stuff that goes in it. And so this is just like fun, breezy, make sure it's curated. And that's why I think I'm just such a stickler on the curation, like what it looks like, because honestly, you're just adding little things in here that you thought were cute at the store. And then, you know, now I said four handmade things because I want to open that up. I know I used to always do three, but I think... Let's do four, a little more personal touch. And um, just have fun with it, guys. All right, so email me if you're interested. Again, it has to be this case, so I know the numbers aren't going to be that big. I think right now we have like 20 people signed up because I'm sure it's, again, not a lot of people have these cases lying around or left. So, um, But have fun with it, guys. I will uh, see you all at the next one. Bye now.